Hello guys, uh, just want to make a video of, uh, it's basically a follow up of uh, my battery challenge of uh, 2015 and now we're going to do a new video for 2016 and this one we're going to try to keep it more, uh, let's say, uh, ongoing to uh, 2016 as the battery uh, uh, quality is improving a lot. Uh, last year, the battery we had was more like for bigger quad, 250, 280 size. So it was more like uh, 1.8, 1.6, 4 cell, 3 cell battery. And now that I'm flying more like uh, 210, 180 size, I basically uh, I change a bit my uh, size of battery. And uh, now we get new player with uh, better quality I would say yes and uh, more uh, C rating that's really reflect uh, what uh, they advertise on their website and uh, let's go with uh, the way I did it it's more like a PowerPoint presentation and uh, that way I don't miss any point and I go direct to uh, the points okay old player of 2015 still active right now uh, we get the multi star 1400 uh, 40 C to 80 C4S. They're 155 grams. They still sell, I think, for 1955. Price has unchanged from last year. I got uh, 82 cycle on this one from uh, last year and this winter. Internal resistance is still uh, good at 29.8 million. So it's still a good number. So that battery is still going strong. Zippy Compact 1300 40C 4S 145 grams 1587. Now it's selling for uh, I guess four cent more. I got 40, 44 cycle on it. Resistance is 26.8 million. It's uh it's start to uh, go up. Uh, this one really is uh, it's got difficulty to keep up with uh, uh, the quad I'm flying, especially the uh, QAVR 210 uh, on a three blade prop. Uh, basically, that battery uh, cannot keep up anymore. So I'm gonna probably keep flying it on 180 size. It's not pulling as more juice, and uh, I think she can still keep up there. It's a light battery. But definitely, I don't think it has enough power to keep up. Uh, Zippy Compact 1600 35C4S 188 grand 1445 now 1448. I got 61 cycle on it. Internal resistance 28.8, still good. Definitely still a workable battery. Price is good, but the only thing is. It doesn't really fit on my uh, QAVR 210 when I got the GoPro on and, and the antenna on the back. It's too tight. So I'm going to probably keep flying it on the, uh, the uh, ZMR180 and uh, probably other quad also. New player for 2016. I got the Luminator 1300 4S60C 153 grand. Sell for $29.99. I got 20 cycles on it since uh, uh, Christmas, basically. And the internal resistance at 24.8 million. Pretty good battery. It's a super compact. It's light. I like that battery a lot. And the graphene from Tonegi. Those are the new battery that everybody talk about. And uh, really, no regret that I purchased those batteries. They are really delivering a good power. 1300 milliamp, 4S, 65 Cs, 166 grams for 22.47. I got 12 cycles on it. Internal resistance is by far the best I ever had on any, any batteries at 16.2. Uh, really? It's uh, it's. I think it's gonna be game changer. So uh, 
This, they claim that this is supposed to be good for 600 plus cycles. I'm going to try to do as many cycles as I get, as I can, and uh, we'll see uh, how far I can push those and if they can keep the internal resistance low, uh, it's going to be good. The only downside is a bit of the weight. It's both, let's say, if you compare to the Luminate, it's a uh, but uh, this is uh, about 22 grams every hour, but you know what, they can keep up because the power is there, so no complaint. If you're looking to buy new batteries, the 30 gig graphene is definitely a good battery to cost them. A multi-star racer series, 1400 mAh, 4S65Cs at 181 grams. For $21.99, I get 19 cycles on it, internal resistance 25 mini ohm. A uh, good battery also. See the weight is slightly heavier than the graphene at 1300. I would say the graphene is probably a better go than the uh, multi racer series of 1400 mini ohms. So if I had the choice between the two, I'd probably only get the graphene and go from there. And the graphene also, if you want to make it a bit lighter, the uh, the the wire for the the battery is super long. You could probably make it short and maybe save uh, maybe eight grams, maybe not, but you could probably save some uh, some weight. Also, I get the Tonegi graphene 1300 milliamp 4S, the 45Cs at 165 grams. And it's 29.9. I got 12 cycles on it. Internal resistance at 19.2 milliohm. Still good under 20. And uh, I don't think they can give as much power as the 65 Cs, but it's a bit lighter. It's a, it's a good option also. So basically, those are the new player for this year. Another battery that I would like to get is the Tonegi Bold 1300 mAh 4S. That's the uh, LiPo high voltage at 154 grams, 21, 24. Uh, they're, on, they're in stock right now at Hobby King. I think I'm going to probably get one and see. Uh, I would like to uh, try the high voltage for sure, especially that I got the uh, Power Labs 6 that I can do that. And it'd be nice to uh, give that try also. So that's probably my next battery I'm going to get. Why some are not back? Well, basically, like I said, it's the size of the quad that are diminishing, and uh, we got. I think 210 is definitely a good size for a quad racer and freestyles. 180, if you want to do a small course tight, it definitely can get in pretty small gaps. So I think 180 to 210 is definitely good size and battery. You don't want to go too heavy. On those so that's probably why the 16 1800 size and I'm probably done with that I'm gonna stick with 13 1400 size on 4s and maybe eventually when I try 5s and 6s we'll see equipment to test so to do all my tests I use my FME power lab 6 so that's how I calculate the eternal resistance it's probably one of the best uh, charger you can get for the money in uh, the hobby, I would say. I would say most people is going to agree with that. You cannot really beat that charger. Eagle 3 e Logo V4, that's what I use when I uh, fly with a battery. And I want to see graph of uh, what the battery is delivering for power to the cycle. QAVR for quads and the Zenima 180 for now. And uh, I'm going to be soon. I sold my uh, QAV 210, but I get a new one that I'm going to build soon and I'm going to do a complete build from A to Z with no step skip. So basically, it's going to be a complete build from beginner or people that want to learn tricks from everything from flashing the DLLE on the ESC and a flash bit of flight and uh, go from there and uh, keep an eye on that it's going to be a video that's going to come in soon 
So now let's analyze the uh, data I get from uh, the e-logger during the flight. So the graphene 1304S65C was the first battery I did. And you get you get four lines. You get the purple one that's the uh that's the amps. No, that's the voltage. The yellow is the watts and what's with the watt is the amps. It's basically following the watts. Yeah, so watts and amps. So when I start the battery, it's at 16.8, so it's fully charged. And usually what I do to check the battery, I do a punch full power. So you can see, I went up to about 71, 72 amp full power. And you can see here the voltage of the battery just going down as the battery uh, advances. So it's basically one minute, two minute, three minutes, four minutes flights. And uh, the voltage go down to about 14.6. And it goes back up to about 15 volt for a typical battery. So the graphene 1304 is definitely the best battery I got. And uh, it was at two cycle. Two cycle also for the graphene 1304 S45Cs. A punch at the beginning, about the same amps, about 71, 72 amps. And the voltage again was staying pretty good, constants. And it was basically 14.6. It got a bit lower at the end, but it was pretty constant too, and got back up at 15 volt. Lumini 1300 4S 60C, 60C, 13 cycle on it when I did the flight. Same thing, it went about 70 amps, 71, 72. And the battery went a little lower in the voltage. It went to about 14.2 a couple of times and it got back up to 14, just below 15 volt. Definitely that battery can deliver but it's probably yeah it's a bit less than the graphene 65 and 45C for sure. And the multi for 40 1400 4S40C. Again, same thing. About the same. They all at the punch at the beginning about 71, 72 amps. And they go down. This one, like the Lumini, went a couple of times a bit lower than the graphene and get back right at the uh, 15 volt. So 70, 77 cycle on it. So definitely good battery. Still working good. That's a battery from last year. Those batteries all brand new from this year. So that battery is a year old with 77 cycles, still delivering good power. And the uh, old battery from last year. 7 Zippy Compact 1300 4S40C. That went full punch. It went to about 60 amp. That's it. And the voltage was dropping. And it was about constant at about I would say 14.5 volt, and at the end of the flight went back to about 15.2. 44 cycle on it. Multi stuff 40C 4S. That's again same battery. 52 cycle on it. That day was a bit colder. Maybe it did difference. Because the punch here was about uh, almost 65 amps, but last time I flew it uh, on the 77 cycle on the previous page, it went to about uh, 71 amps. Voltage was pretty good all the way through the battery and it got back to about 15 volt. 
Okay, and the uh, multi star racer 1400 465C, 19 cycles. That's a new battery from this year, just to compare for that day, maybe with the condition it was called a 19 a cycle on it. And uh, basically, the punch gave me slightly higher than the other for sure. And about, uh, I would say, 6. 67, 68 amps, and after that, the voltage stayed higher for sure than this one and this one. And at the end, it went back to about 15.2. The last battery, Zippy Compact 1635C4S. All those batteries were done with the uh, QAVR. This one because it didn't fit, so I mounted to the ZMR. So the number is going to be different for sure. Like the punch, full power, is only 40 amps instead of 65. Definitely, if your batteries are weak, 180 size, it's going to help your battery for sure. So full power, 40 amps, after the whole flight, even that battery really doesn't deliver that much because the voltage still lower until the end and at the end basically the voltage was lower than any other batteries yes almost yeah so i would say that battery at 61 cycle is i think i'm basically done with that it's Probably almost ready to be recycled and uh, switch to another battery. And that's it for that. So plan for season 2016. Planning to push as much as I can the battery and as often as I can fly. So if I can fly every single day when the weather is good and maybe do multiple times the same battery every day so I can Usually, typical years, I can do, like you saw, 77, 80 cycle by batteries. But you know what? This year, we're going to try to go over 100. Let's hope that we can do it. And uh, as the, war the weather warm up, definitely the battery performance going to improve. It's going to be more demanding for the battery. And... Uh, we're going to basically keep you update as the weather improve and warm up and we'll see what kind of performance we still get from those batteries. I usually charge at 2C. That means if it's a 1300, I charge about 2.5, 2.6 amps. But I'm going to push it more, 3, 4, 5 Cs, especially the uh, uh, graphene that supposedly I think they're good for 5 Cs. So 5C is uh, be about 7.5 amps. We're going to even try to push it to 10 amps to see if they can uh, take it. Anyway, when I charge at 2C, 3C, it only like to maybe take 15 minutes to charge a battery. And usually I charge in parallel. So I can do, with my setup, I can do 6. I could probably do... 12 batteries in 15 minutes because I got two chargers. I got the power lab and I got an eye charger 106B plus. So I can do 6 plus 6. I can do 12 batteries in 15 minutes. Do I need to push more? Probably not. But we're going to push to see if the battery can keep up. And uh, I need to keep track of internal resistance. That's easy because every time I charge on my power lab, I got the uh, eternal resistance that showed before and after as I charge the battery. So keep an eye on that. And uh, if I see eternal resistance going south, definitely I uh, will keep updated. Update. I will keep you updated on that. And uh, I'm going to try to have as many updates as required. We'll see if the demand is if people want to see more update on uh, how the batteries are performing. And uh, we'll go from there. And obviously, 
don't forget comments below like it if you think that's helping you to pick up batteries and uh, subscribe to the channel so that way you can uh, keep an eye on uh, how the batteries are performing they perform and uh, yeah so enjoy and uh, keep flying FPV and uh, keep it real and uh, don't forget it's just a hobby and uh, it's just for fun so don't take it too seriously and uh, have fun so hopefully this video will help you and uh, have a good day. Bye.